Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX and this is Gothic 2 New Balance mod. Today we're going to be tackling the very big uh, plateau of the Ancients that is near the library in Jarkandar if you know where that is. So basically in the canyon there is a teleport that we opened quite a while ago already in chapter 2. Uh, currently I'm in chapter 4 but that's mostly because I still need to do the uh, unlimited quest and I cannot proceed if I don't do this first. So we're gonna be doing this and uh, then that video will be uploaded okay. <laughs> So here we are next to uh, the library. I just came down from the canyon and we're going to go through the teleport. <clears throat> and this is the Plateau of the Ancients, one of the biggest maps uh, in uh, in the game. If you don't count Karinus, it might actually be bigger in some cases. It's just so vast. It's quite insane. So as soon as you get out, of course, you have learned uh, heat resistance from Gonzalez. I hope if you haven't, then you need to do that first. Otherwise, your stamina here will run out. And then I think it starts on your health bar as well. So you cannot really fight. <clears throat> but I think it's just on stamina. Uh, the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to have to find a map. It's going to make things easier. And the map is in this building. The, uh, the Will of the Wisp is not going to pick it up. We have to pick it up ourselves. And uh, it's going to tell us where to go from here. So if we just look at our inventory. I have to scroll down a bit. Uh, the ancient map shows us where we are. We are right at the very top in the north. Uh, with the red arrow. And then you have these uh, four different oases which are green trees with uh, sorry green trees with uh, palms uh, two different uh, pyramids there's an altar and a stone golem and the tree of life and so on and so forth we are going to tackle all of that uh, in a very mannerly fashion first we're gonna visit all the <clears throat> different oasis which we have to do first anyway And by doing that, we're going to unlock several different things to interact with the, the altar itself in the middle of the map. You can clear the whole map, however, it takes a while, so I will be doing that off screen, okay? I'm just showing you the necessities that you need to do in order for this to work. And each of these um, oasis is going to have a guardian guardian that uh, you probably should put your pet on passive and he's gonna carry a key that opens a very specific chest that's right next to it okay gonna get rid of all of these undead and then just open the chest and it contains a uh, how you call that a stone shard that is interactable with the uh, with one of the uh, the altars in the middle. Then, this place is for something very specific as well. We will come back here later. Let's first uh, try to get all of the uh, oasises. Now I believe the next one is in that direction. You normally see it when you come close that it's like a Borealis effect, like in the Northern Lights. But from far you only see a lot of trees in that direction. But when you come closer, you'll see in a minute that this area is sort of special. And that's what happens, this Borealis effect. Okay, another Guardian here. And uh, we're going to have another key and another chest that we need to open. Okay. I thought I just... Oh, I didn't uh, grab it. <laughs> My bad. And then again, we get a stone shard and some goodies. As well as mercury in, the, uh, in case you wanted to create a special weapon okay. against I ghosts. I'm just killing these for fun. And I'm going to continue in this direction now. 
I already see the oasis up ahead. I think that's one of them. <clears throat> so this should be the third oasis right here. Let's see if the Borales effect is here. Yes, it is. Uh, the mummies and the ancient priests. This one doesn't have um, a boss, apparently. This one does not apparently have a boss, but it still should have a chest. So let's look around. The chest is right here. Yes. And one of the normal skeletons has the key. Okay. Let's continue to the next one. Where should it be is the question, though. So that is the altar. Let's see our map. Okay, we got one, two, three, and four. And the fourth one is actually back in that direction where we started. So we're going to go towards, almost towards the, the, the smaller pyramid. And we're going to continue this way. Sorry for the killings. I'm just doing them spontaneously. And there we go. This is the uh, the last one. Boom. There we have another guardian. And the guardian is dead. This one was indeed one of uh, of the skeletons. You also get a messenger, which is a weapon, by the way. I think it's a bow, if I'm not mistaken. And there we go. This is the, the fourth and last piece. And the quest also updates. That means we can go to the center where the altar is. And uh, start inserting all of these stone shards into the special area. Apparently that was a mini boss. Okay. Cool. So on each side you have one of these book stands. That will be interactable with. That's why it's good to clear out the entire map first before you continue. But I'm just giving you this in a fashionly order. So it's easier for you to understand where to go. This is the small pyramid in the northeast that just opened up. So we're going to go to that area. Where is it? Uh -huh, over there. See, I still have a lot of enemies everywhere. But it's a good thing that I have my crate with me. Sometimes he just kills everything that he sees. And now more enemies are going to spawn in this area. Because we have just unlocked uh, the, the pyramid. I don't know why that happens, but I, I suppose. Uh, boom. Okay. Another un ancient undead mage here. A mummy. And another one. Just make sure you uh, get to the top of this pyramid and kill whatever's inside. And we're going to also get a very special item called the Golden Scepter. This is the first step of what you need to do here. <clears throat> I'm going to check what to do next. Just in case I miss something. So I found the Golden Scepter. If I understand correctly, I also need a certain tier to summon a Titan. As I learned from the text in the pyramid, somewhere in the center of the plateau is a ravine in which where that is the Temple of Tears, which hold the tier. I need to go there. Now let's see, I think I already... Uh, no, I haven't. There are certain teleporters that you can activate here. I think there's only two or maximum three. But... Oh, look, that's a Golem. Uh... But there's one at the tears, uh, the, the altar of tears right here. So if we need to teleport out of here, then we will be able to do that. This is the first teleporter. I'm also going to sleep until the next day because it's already nighttime. Let's put eight hours. Good. And we're going to drop down all the way into this uh, little hole in the ground. Whee! Now, if, you're, uh, if you don't have enough health, try not to drop down there, because there is no other way than just dropping down. Um, and then we're going to have more mine crawlers everywhere. First thing we're going to do is try to avoid going to the left side here, because there's an ancient mine crawler in there that's basically immortal to our attacks. 
we're gonna have to beat him another way but we need do need whatever he is guarding we're gonna go across this little bridge here we're gonna get rid of that golem and uh, he had an old mallet on his uh, in his inventory for some reason but I guess an old mallet <clears throat> it's all part of a process once you get back here where you started, you just click on this and strike the gong three times. Boom. And then you climb up this uh, little house where the column is on top. The mine crawler will appear any second now. There you go. And then you just push the column. You just click on it. This was supposed to be part of Gothic 1 as well. But it never came to pass. So, yeah. Uh, the Caracast also gives you a shell plate, which you can give to Wolf. I don't even see it if it's here. And he makes a very special uh, shield for you. You can also just equip it just like this. Instead of, let's say, the Dragon Skull, I can equip this and I'll have more physical protection. Anyway, continuing, let's go to the left side where we were supposed to go earlier. Uh, there's an elixir of life and ancient rune tiles, which is wonderful and the chest that's very important What does this chest contain? So the temple of tears of key and the talisman of the great hunter if you've already done The orc city quests with the great talisman of hunter, which you could find in the orc cemetery. You can also find it here So uh, yeah, we're gonna continue we're going to go where the golem was, but instead of stopping here, we're going to drop down further ahead. Uh, we're going to summon the crate. Just for temporarily. Because uh, we're going to die anyway. I mean, he's going to die anyway. As soon as we pass through here. Nice. Okay. Then we need to read this pedestal. And use the temple key. And this door will open. Any moment now. Okay. And what we can do now is basically move through it. And we're going to get teleported to the temple of Adonis. Now this place is not so complicated as it might seem. I will uh, try to kill everything that is inside for more experience. Uh, the only thing that is a problem here is, oh, knowing what to do, because it can be very confusing, okay? As soon as you get down here, you can kill everything you want, but you'll have to return back up, because there's a door that doesn't allow you to pass through, not on your two feet anyway. So if you go through here, right, oh, you say, oh, this is the way, right? But apparently, when you go through the to the very top, when you go to the very top, the door is blocked, and you cannot pass through it. So you have to go back down. Yep. Yeah. You have to go back down and all the way around, and you'll see what I mean in a second. Uh. There we go. We are back outside. So we're going to go back up here. And we're, we're going to start crawling. Now this is a little tricky sometimes. But if you know how to climb in this game. Then you shouldn't have a problem. There we go. I managed on the first try no less. <laughs> and then you can climb over here. There is no other way. I'm just going to get rid of all these stone sentinels. Uh, boom, there's one, there's two. Because I love killing stuff, but these guys are just so satisfying to kill for some reason. Because they're like... Okay, what to do next, right? The, the gate's closed. What do we do? We have to find a button. And the button is right here. And there's a big key on it, okay? 
you cannot really miss it unless you're not looking for it. So as, you, as soon as you press it, the gate opens and you can go inside and you can kill the guard. And I would recommend you to stay on the side because I don't remember if they actually uh, removed the traps that were here, but I'm not going to take any risks. Well, apparently the Kray just passed through, so they have removed the traps. Yeah, they removed them. Okay. Shame. It was fun. There used to be traps here. There should be a few more guardians here. Yep. So which side do we take? So one is for uh, strength and dexterity. And the other one is for the mages, right? You can see that with the... This is a, a staff, so to speak. And these are shields and swords. So we're going to take to the left. Um... Even though I think that one gives you elixir of life, and this one just gives you elixir of strength. So the elixir of strength doesn't do anything for me. I'm gonna just risk it, okay? There's you can only take one, by the way, just saying. And you can only kill one of these uh, bad boys. You can read one of these, and the uh, next door opens. <laughs> nice, okay, cool. So the other side is unaccessible now, even if you try to press it, nothing happens. Okay. We're gonna go down here, don't be surprised, there's gonna be a guard right on the left. And then there's gonna be a mini boss right here in the center. And we're just gonna fight it. Not much of a mini boss, was he? <laughs> well, there's gonna be another one, but this one is more of a more of a hectic one. Whoa! It says Arax, caretaker of the temple. I'm not sure if he talks to you or not, or he just attacks you right away. I think he attacks you right away. And he attacks you with such might that he throws you back a lot. So you can dodge. You can dodge his attacks, by the way. But try just not to get hit at all. He gives you 30 pieces of old, uh, of Rune stones and a hundred go coins, old coins. And here is where we're gonna find the uh, one of the very important books. It's called the Chronicles of Stonos. This is part three. I'm gonna also show it to you in the next video. And the tear of Adanos was right here. And then it says, "I found the tear of Adonis. It's time to go back through the portal in the center of the temple. It in one of its rooms." So when you go back, you cannot teleport back. You have to go through here to teleport all the way up. This is the teleporter. <clears throat> and you can teleport it right next to the, the, the Altar of Tears. Next up is we have to combine the Scepter and the Tear. And we're going to spawn a Titan. Okay, so let's see where they are. Let me just read this. Fire Mage Expedition is updated, which we're going to do in the next video. Uh, da -da -da, where are you? The Scepter. The Scepter was here, wasn't it? God damn it, I, I keep missing it. Unless it's on the way, all the way to the bottom. No, it's right here, okay. So a Titan appears, but it's not much of a challenge. So it gives you a rune tile. He gives you a special rune tile, and you have to combine it with another piece of rune tile. Okay, so there's there's two of these. What to do next? After I got the both pyramids of the uh, parts of the tablet, I need to combine them on the table in the building next to the small pyramid. So where's this, the other piece? Well, the other piece is guarded by a very ancient and powerful, uh, I think, 
Necromancer? I'm not sure if he's a Necromancer. He's probably just a very powerful mage turned into a turned into a skeleton now. Let me summon great. Is he on passive? He's on passive now. Okay. The skeleton is in this big dome. You really cannot miss it. And he has about 20,000 HP, I believe. Which, the easiest way to do it, again, is with the bow. Oh, it's 12,000. Never mind. Wow, he went up there. He barely does any damage, though. To me. Probably because I have the Grand uh, Scouts. Where, where are you? Stop running around like an asshole. Stay still. There we go. He is dead. You even get 5,000 experience. And uh, he is guarding the next part of the rune tile. Might as well grab everything that's in his tower because there's a lot of stuff. Don't think there's anything down there, but there is a chest in this area. Sorry, next uh, here. There's a chest right here. And in the upper floor as well. I think you get like an elixir of dexterity, elixir of life, and other stuff. Quite a lot of things. And you also have to read this. Makes things a lot easier for later on. Okay. Now, we have to go back to the pyramid. The small pyramid. If Drakes wouldn't keep interrupting me. <laughs> so now we're going back to the small pyramid that is, I think, in this direction. I'm going to the right direction. Okay, yeah, I am. Going speed mode, but even then it's sort of slow. Then you talk, sorry, you interact with this uh, little piece of information right here. Insert the left and the right piece and take away the whole thing. Now we have to go to the big pyramid. So we're going to go first to the Altar of Tears and we're going to go directly towards the Sanctuary. It's called the Sanctuary, I just call it <clears throat> the Big Pyramid. You can also do a few, uh, a little quest here with the... Uh, with the goblins, which I will do in a separate video, maybe. Oh no, I'll do it just after. Just a little bonus, okay? Okay. Servant dead. Quite a few enemies in here. There's even gonna be uh, two of these. Amun Sah and the other one is... I don't remember his name. <laughs> Another... There we go. Those were the guardians of the sanctuary. Make sure you also get the teleporter that's right here. Uh, let's see. Should be on the other side of this little thing. Yep. Of this giant boulder. That means we have now two teleporters around this place. And now you can interact with this uh, door. <coughs> And the door opens. And you can start killing everything that's inside. Okay, cool, nice. The thing is, uh, the Will of the West doesn't work here. This used to be a lot harder. There used to be like steps up here. Everything was a puzzle. Uh, no, they made it almost too easy. So <clears throat> everything is about killing. There's no puzzles anymore. I used to like that, you know. So we're gonna talk. Uh, we're gonna interact with these book stands first. Then this one. And then, I don't think this one works yet. No. We have to do something else before we do. 
<sighs> I need to kill creatures spawned by Enos. Enos is light and fire. The creature is invulnerable in the daytime in the sunlight. So, there is a special uh, thing on the map. If you look, there is a fire golem in the southeast of the map. Okay, we only can enter. Uh, we can only kill it in the daytime. Sorry, in the nighttime. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's in the tax direction. We can only kill it in the nighttime because in the daytime it gets stronger by the sun. Or with the sun. So the golem should be right here in between those four pillars. And we're gonna re wait until it's nighttime so we can actually attack it. And now it should be no problem. There we go. That's the first part of that quest. Then it says it remains to find the dragon egg and bring it to the gift of Adenos. Again, it's on the map and it's very close. The dragon egg should be next to that oasis, but it's in the corner. And it should be in the end of a tunnel, I believe. Oh no. I think we need a meat, uh, transform into a meat buck here. Let us check. No, it's not this one. Uh, it's not this one that you need to transform into a meat bug. That's another area. But... The undead mage is indeed guarding a dragon head. The, the dragon egg that the uh, Will of the Wisp already picked up. So now... We have to donate it. Or not donate it. <laughs> You have to put it as a gift to Adanos. We are back here at the Altar of Tears. And we need to go to the west. And it's not that far away. If we just go in this direction. We should be... Heading in the right spot. Let me see. I don't think there's any more enemies here. And this is the area where you can see dragon heads. And you just click on this pedestal and you put the dragon egg on top of it. Okay, the gift is given. Uh, and now we need to return to the big pyramid. The Sanctuary of Truth. And read the last entry that's on the center. So now we have to revive the great tree of life. Now, how do we do that? It says here, the great tree of life will blossom again. I hope this is the last riddle. I think the last challenge will revive the big tree. And we have to talk to Netback in the Valley of Mines. It's kind of uh, coming forth and, and coming back and going to all of these places at once. Okay, we are here with Nedbeck's camp in the Valley of Mines. Uh, you are Druid, aren't you? you? He gives you a root of life, which you can then revive the tree with. Uh, okay, we're going to act with him later. Let's go back to the Plateau of the Ancient and the Sanctuary of Truth, which is, again, the closest thing to what we need to do. And now we just need to go north. <clears throat> There's a lot of uh, fire stuff around. That's why I said try to clear everything. It's a lot of experience here. Anyway, that is the giant tree of life. But at the moment, it's lifeless. And this used to be a little more complicated than it is right now. But right now, what we need to do is just interact with this little piece here. <clears throat> and use the root of life <coughs> and the tree of life becomes alive again which is kind of beautiful in a way correct 
The leaves and uh, I think the trials are finally over. Let's go back to the temple or the, the sanctuary of truth. <clears throat> Sorry for the coughing. I believe now we can act again uh, interact with this. And a uh, teleport opens up here. You can grab everything that's around it. And you can also interact with this area, which gives you... Adonis has cleansed your soul and the karma of the gods has been restored. Right? But that's not all. That is not all. When you come back... This little area will open. And uh, there will be a very special thing inside of it. Don't worry, there's no uh, enemies. There's going to be elixir of pure health, elixir of healing, mana, warrior tablet, ancient crossbow, and a chest that contains, you guessed it, El Hazir's weapon and Storm of the Undead. Which is a good weapon against the undead if you don't have a spear yet. The Al Hazir is a decent weapon, a decent bow, but I already have a better one. The Staff of the High Mage is also good, but the most important thing on this list is the Ice Crown, okay? The rest of it doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay, cool. The secrets of the Ad Temple of Adenos have been restored. Now let's see what it says here. Inside the Great Pyramid, I find an ice screen. We'll continue my search. To the east of the Great Pyramid, I spot the cave that might lead me to my goal. And if you're wondering what that means, is we have to go through that cave. Here is the cave. I don't think there's any enemies on this side. Oh, there is, actually. <laughs> and here is the only statue of Adonis in the whole game. But how do we get across? So, it says here, in the cave I stumbled into a deep gorge. How do I get across it? Perhaps the scepter and the crown of ice can help me get through. So, if you equip both... <clears throat> which you have to this and the ice crown is amongst the uh, the armor then you can pray to Adonis and the uh, ground just suddenly appears there you go and once you have that, these guys won't even attack you. But of course, you can get rid of them, of course. Of course you can get rid of them. It's extra experience, after all. It's entirely up to you. I normally do. But I just leave them for later. Okay, once you get down here, you go straight to another dragon. He's not. His name is not Ashtar this time. He has a different name. I can't remember it right now. Ednar, I think. Or something close. And this is where our video ends. Uh, as he will tell us that we need to get inside that temple and stop Raven from desecrating anything further. Okay? Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the secrets of the uh, Plateau of the Ancients. And... Uh, if you have any more questions, please write them down in the comments below. Uh, <clears throat> I'll see you in the next video and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as a bonus, as I said earlier before we completely stop the video, uh, if you're here near the goblins camp in the Plateau of the Ancients and you have acquired this call, this thing called Here Shar. <clears throat> Uh, you got this from near the old tower of Xardas, uh, where you found a talking goblin. And if you finished this quest, he would have given you this, I think. Or you've actually found it in the chest that the key has been given by him. So, when you equip this, the goblins here won't attack you. And in fact, 
this goblin that is the chief will call you stupid because you don't know what have you equipped because this is like a like an ulumulu for goblins okay and he gives you a quest very short quest but it's a quest nonetheless and what you have to do is find a very specific item uh, <clears throat> if you don't know where to go and find this item I will show you so this is the entrance we have to go across this hill first and uh, you will have to kill a goblin that stole one of their things and it's in between these four pillars it's gonna be a goblin riding a uh, what you call that <clears throat> I can't remember what you call one of those it's like a razor, but it's not a razor. And that's it, basically. That is the whole quest. <laughs> so once you get back, the uh, the goblin chief will give you um, the key to their chest over there. You cannot unlock it any other way, by the way. And the uh, the ca the chest will contain some nice goodies. So you have two elixirs of healing, a black ore that is worth 3,000, some steel billets, 200 old coins, the ring of the priest of Adonis that gives you 200 maximum health, which is a lot, and a god iron. This, not, this is, weapon is not so special, but it is something, you know. And after you are done, you can just get rid of the goblins. No problem whatsoever. Like, you can kill them off, even though it sounds very sad and sadistic. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.